Hello, my name is Sandy Wiley and I'm an educator with the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a collage out of things that you can find around your very own house. The word collage comes from a classical Greek word meaning glue. Maybe you have created a collage out of colored papers and pictures before. Similar to Robert Goodnow's blue and brown collage. Today we're going to create a collage using found objects. A found object is something that's not normally thought of as a material that art is made from, such as Robert Rauschenberg's coexistence. A found object collage uses items that you wouldn't normally associate with one another to create something new. So we'll still be using glue, and we'll glue these objects onto a flat surface, just as we would as if we were creating a collage just from papers. We're taking our inspiration for this project from a piece in Virginia Museum of Fine Arts Modern and Contemporary Art Collection. This is American artist Michael Cooper's piece entitled Pinks. I'm drawn to this piece because of how simple it is and how the artist chose items that are similar in color. I also noticed that he has chosen items that are similar in size and shape. We're going to make our own found art collage using items you wouldn't think to make art with. We're going to start by looking through our objects and choosing the ones we want to use. Since I'm taking inspiration from Michael Cooper's piece, I'm going to go through my objects and pick pieces that are similar color and maybe similar size. Now that I've chosen the objects I'm going to use, I'm going to start by laying them out on my cardboard. I want to decide where I'm going to put each object before I begin gluing. Now that I have an idea of where I want to place each object, I'm going to start with my glue. But it's important to start with the pieces at the back first. So I'm going to start with my pieces of paper. Just going to use a little bit of glue, no need to have big puddles. As I glue pieces down, I can always change my decisions and put them in different spots. Now that I've glued all my flat pieces down, I'm going to begin gluing my 3D objects. I'm going to start by creating a tower for my magnifying glass. If I lay my magnifying glass and glue it straight down, it won't do its job and magnify. And I really like that when I pull it up higher and look over, I can see the trees on my collage differently. So I'm going to glue this simple bottle cap to create a base. Then I'm going to add glue to my handle of the magnifying glass, place it on top, and again I want to hold it in place. This time I might count to ten. Just while I finish the piece is take a piece of washi tape to hold it on. Washi tape is easy to take off once glue is dry, but it's strong enough to just hold the magnifying glass in place until the glue dries a little bit. While that's drying, I'm going to decide where I'm going to put my two monkeys. They come from a very small barrel of monkeys game. One of my kids was throwing it away. I decided it wasn't trash. I was going to use it for art. Now my glue is still really, really wet, so I don't want to mess with it, but I do want to take a look and just make sure that I have all the pieces on that I want. I think I do. So remember that piece, Michael Cooper's Pinks. His piece were similar size, similar shape, and colors. 
So what I thought about, I chose several pieces, all the same color, lots of reds, but I also used similar shapes. I've used a circle here, I've used a circle in my magnifying glass, and a circle in my bottle cap. It's important that you leave your piece alone to dry. You don't want the parts to fall off. Thank you for joining me today with the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. I hope you enjoyed making your collage, and I hope you make lots at home.